In today's video, I want to talk to you about the comfort zone. And it's an area that too many of us get stuck inside and don't want to make the effort to get out of it. Because outside of your comfort zone is an area of growth and uncomfortableness, I suppose. But when you look back over your life, we all go through lots and lots of different versions of the comfort zone. Go back to your very first day at school. Do you remember looking around in wonder at all these people and seeing people that are huge compared to you? And at such a young age, we're doing that. It continues as you go through school and each level you go, it seems to get harder and harder. Not only are you growing in that way, but you're pushing yourself at school in all of the subjects and you all start off knowing such a little bit. And then over the course of a term, you get to know more. But to get to know more, you sometimes have to work so hard, even when you think you can't do it and you carry on. And that moves then into college or university for a lot of people. If it doesn't end up there, it's once again people looking out for a job and going into a job where you're the only one who doesn't know what's going on around you. And so for all of our lives, we put in these uncomfortable positions and the thing with the comfort zone is every time you have to stretch it a little bit, the more you do it, the easier it gets and your comfort zone gets bigger and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. The more and more you stretch yourself. And the problem for a lot of us is that we get to a certain stage whereby we no longer want to push forward. Some of us may be happy in our careers and don't want to push further. And there is nothing wrong with that whatsoever. But some of us may be in a work position where we want to extend ourselves and, and move on to the next stage. And each time you do that, you have to step out of that comfort zone. The problem with it is, the less times you push that comfort zone, on the occasions when you've really got to, it's so much harder. I've found that during my lifetime, I've been in that, trying to get out of that comfort zone so many times. Through the course of our lives, we're always pushing against anything that takes us out of our comfort zone. But what I've found is, the only times I've ever really learned anything is when I've stretched out of that comfort zone. When you get to my age at 64, I kind of can look back and these videos that I talk about come across as some sort of wisdom to some people. But the only way you get wisdom is by experience. And the only way you get experience is by failing. And every single time you fail, you have to step out of your comfort zone. So the choices that you get with this comfort zone thing is that you can either do it voluntarily or it's forced upon you. Now the thing is this, if you do it willingly, it's a good thing. If it's forced upon you, for instance, 
Have you ever had to make a speech at a wedding? Or have you ever had to make a speech on a stage? That is probably one of the most scary things any of us have to do. But what I found, I've done that a few times now. And I really enjoy it, which is odd. Because if you put me in a crowd of people, I feel a lot more uncomfortable there because I'm not as outgoing as people would think. If you put me in a crowd of people, I'm the one that sits on the outside looking in. And then it takes me getting out of my comfort zone to say something and interject and have something to say in a group of people. It's a weird, weird thing. But if you have things that you want in this life, there is only one way. And that is to step out of the comfort zone. Think back, think back to when you were meeting your first girlfriend, first boyfriend, and you were asking them out or someone asked you. How dawning was that? Did you have to take a deep breath? I know I did. But, and you and it's like, oh, I might get turned down. The fear of turning, of being turned down is a bit scary. But was it worth it in the end? Personally, <laughs> I got turned down lots of times, so I had plenty of, of experience, if you like, in coming out of my comfort zone with girlfriends and things. <laughs> Why am I telling you this? <laughs> but it's when you overcome your fears and you take your step out of that comfort zone and you stretch it and you expand it, what you're doing is becoming a more rounded character. You're becoming stronger, definitely. And you're also becoming better. And in this world, we owe it to ourselves, you know, to step out of your comfort zone, go for the things that you want in your life, make the decisions that you're going to do it going to stretch out of your comfort zone. I'm stuck in a comfort zone at the moment and it's one I'm going to try and be fairly soon. <laughs> I say fairly soon because I found myself procrastinating because I'm not sure I want to do it. And that is doing a live video. I've been putting myself off doing a live video on YouTube for ages. And it's, I've noticed that the more I've thought about it, the less I've wanted to do it. And I think the way to stop worrying about it is for me to go out and do it. And I'll leave you with this question. What do you want to do that's going to have to cause you to step out of your comfort zone? If you've got something that you want to do, go on, let us know in, in the comment box below. And then let us know when you've done it. I'll see you next time.